Every day we encounter some type of history here at the Stearns History Museum. It's about learning those stories of the people that were really uh, such an important um, influence on developing this area of the state. Jacob Brower is not your average person. He was a school teacher to begin with. He enlisted into Company D, fought in the battles of Big Mound, spent time in the Navy where he patrolled the Mississippi, first county auditor of Todd County, became the register of the U.S. Land Office, member of the Masonic Lodge, editor of the Stars Tribune newspaper, Browerville is named after him, mapped and surveyed the source of the Mississippi. The list goes on and on. He did more, I was comparing him to my life, he probably did more in a couple years than I did, I mean, than I did in my whole lifetime. Dating all the way back to 1891, Brower was named father of the park system. Uh, anybody who's gone to a state park in Minnesota can thank him for that. This may have been his final spark on earth, but today... That you might be able to um, do some of the things that he did, or it might give you motivation to be more active in your community. That can teach... A lesson to learn, not only in, yes, it's really good to be totally committed to many different things, but maybe it's good to say, okay, you know, do a few things and do them very well. With all of his achievements, Brower is remembered as one of the greatest pioneers in Minnesota history. I'm Carson Forsman, UTVS News.